What's up everyone, my name is Mr. Drillicious and it's been a while since I've last recorded a video, but I've decided to create something new for you guys that you can download and use on your own stream. And with that, I also wanted to make a video to explain you how you can use that. Now, if you've been on my stream on Twitch before, you might have already seen my digital sub printer. Basically, whenever someone subscribes, a printer appears on screen, which prints out a receipt with the time and date, profile picture and the subscribers message. This is then being posted to Discord with all of that info as well. The idea for this came from another streamer called Nutty. He also has a sub printer, though the one that he uses prints out actual receipts, like physical ones, ones that you can touch. I'll leave a link below the like button to his video where you can see his setup. But for those of you who don't have a thermal printer, this digital version is a great alternative. For this effect, we're gonna be using OBS together with Streamerbot. Oh, and if you're wondering where you can get this effect for yourself, you can get it on my Kofi shop. It's pay what you want, so put in any amount you'd like to give to support me. Hit the download button and then you'll get a zip file with everything that you need. Oh, and while you are over on my Kofi, be sure to check out the other widgets and effects I have on there as well. All of them are pay what you want, so you can download them for free or you can give me a little bit of money to support me in my content creation. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in so I can show you how to install and use this widget. Okay, so we're here in OBS and I assume that you've downloaded and unpacked everything that you got from my Kofi store. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the scenes. So for that, we're gonna go to the tools menu, source copy, and then we're gonna load a scene. Now for this, we're gonna go to the digital subprinter folder that we just unpacked, go to OBS scene collection and click on the digital subprinter JSON file. Open that up. And that adds a brand new scene to OBS with all the sources that we need. Next up, we're going to have to import all the actions into Streamable. Now again, you find everything in the zip file that you just unpacked. So simply click on the import button and then on this screen, you can actually import the file. Go to the folder that we just had, click on the Streamable installer and then drag over this Empower file into Streamable. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious what Empower stands for, it means Mr. Joylicious's optimized widgets and engaging resources. So again, simply drag in that Empower file and then you see all the actions and the queue that's get imported into Streamerbot. Click import and then everything is imported into the tool. All right, next up, we need to change a few path locations in both OBS and Streamerbot. The first one that we have to do is change the path to an alpha mask that is linked on the scene. So right click on the scene, go to filters and then click on printer mask. And then here you will have the path that you need to change for yourself. So click on browse and then in the media and resources folder of the zip file, you can find the printer alpha map PNG. Open that up and then close this window once again. Next up, we have a couple of images that we have to do the same for. First off, the Discord logo. So again, click on browse, select the Discord mascot PNG, and then open that up. We have to do the same thing for the image for the sub printer. So click on browse, select the sub printer there. Lastly, we have one here for a sound file. So right click on the sound file, select properties, and then here you can select the local file for that as well. Click OK, and then you are good to go in OBS. Now let's move it over to Streamerbot where we also have to make a few changes. Okay, so here in Streamerbot, one thing that we have to change is in the sub printer discord and closing action, click on that. And then we have a sub action here named play sound and finish before continuing. Right click on that, select edit sub action. And then we also have to find the local path to that file. So click on the three dots here. And in that same media and resources folder, you can see the DS ringtone file as well. So open that up, click OK. And that's the last local file path that you have to change in both OBS and Streamerbot. Now there is one more thing that you need to change in Streamerbot, which is in the OBS code subprinter discord trigger action. Click on that. And then there are two folders that you need to open. First off is the discord webhook URL settings. Right click on the last argument. And then you can see here your Discord webhook URL here. So right click, edit sub action, and then you post your Discord webhook URL in this location. Now, if you don't know how to set up a Discord webhook URL, go to the README file that you also found in the download, because there's a link to a help article on the Discord side that explains you exactly how to set up a Discord webhook for yourself. So basically add your URL here, click OK. And then lastly, we need to set the file location for the screenshot. So right click on this one, edit sub action and then paste a path here to a local folder where you want to add all your screenshots once they have been made. Click OK and then you can close these options once again. 
And that's uh, basically the last thing that you have to change in StreamerBot. Now we are good to go to test this out to see if it actually works. So in order to test this, click on one of the first actions that we have right here and go to triggers, right click on one of the actions there and then click on test trigger. And then once you do that, you will see the printer pop up. The receipt is popping out and you can see the fake information on the receipt right there. It gets then posted to Discord and once that's done, you can know that everything is installed correctly and it's in working order. And with that, you're good to go. Now you can add the digital subprinter scene that we just created to basically all the other scenes where you want this effect to pop up. Now one tip that I have for you guys is what I've done myself is basically I created one scene with all my alerts, all my effects, all my widgets, all those kind of things. And that scene is the one that I add to all my other scenes where I want these widgets to pop up. That way you don't have a ton of nested scenes in all of your scenes, but you just have to add one simple scene to all of your other scenes. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope you like this new effect that I created. If you do, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I might make more videos again in the future. And that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my Twitch channel. I stream there every Monday where we play a variety of games, mostly story-driven adventures, but also multiplayer games as well. Link to that is also down below the like button. And that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. For now, happy streaming.